perdonar, ¿hay alguien que no hable inglés? ¿Todos habláis inglés? No, no entiendo, ahora no te la tenemos. La pasa es que la tenemos por internet. Por internet, para que sea accesible a todos. Vale, vale. Es un placer estar aquí en Barcelona y meet you all and speak to you about the Dhamma. Y es un placer para mí estar en Barcelona y encontraros y hablar sobre el Dhamma. We have been having some some satsangs here, and I'm very happy that everybody is having a very an enthusiastic approach towards these satsangs. Yesterday we had a full day of satsang in one of the yoga studios in Barcelona. Allí tuvimos un día, eh, un día entero de Sarta en un yoga estudio de Barcelona. And we dedicated the whole day to the mother, to the divine mother. Y dedicamos todo el día a la madre, a la madre de Dios. And from there we, we, you know, we got connected with the very divine energy. Y desde ahí nos conectamos con la energía de la vida. And I'm sure that that energy of the mother will also descend upon us at this point, at this, at this place, in Yoga One. And will take us towards our goal of life, to meet our purpose of our life. The purpose of our life is to realize the Self, to know who we are. It's not about the achievements that we do in our external world. Everybody is busy running after desires. To accumulate things, to accumulate objects of this world. But there's a time when you have to leave everything and go. Pero hay un momento en que tenemos que dar todo y seguir. And when he goes, then he cannot take anything with him. Y cuando, cuando se va, cuando lo deja ser, no toma nada contigo. The whole life which has been spent in the pursuit of, of collection of objects, of worldly, worldly objects. Toda la vida ha sido dedicada a la colección de objetos mundanos. Seems to be in vain when he's when he's leaving this world. So, at that time, we feel that our life is is useless. Our our purpose of life has not been met. We have lost the chance that nature has given to us. Entonces perdemos eh, la oportunidad que la naturaleza nos da a nosotros. And that is, and that is why it is very necessary for each and every people of this world. Es por eso que es muy necesario para cada una de las personas de este mundo. To know about spirituality, to know about truth, and to and to and to realize it, and to attain that truth. Conocer la espiritualidad y realizar esta, conocer la verdad y realizar esta verdad. When we talk about truth, when we talk about spirituality, there's a fear associated. Many of us fear that we will lose ourselves. But the real meaning of spirituality is to, is to find yourself. Es encontrarte a ti mismo. The self that you think about now, the self that you know now, is not yourself. El yo mismo que tú piensas que eres ahora, este yo mismo no es tu verdadero. It's a non-self which you have imagined. Es un, un yo mismo, es un sí mismo que te has imaginado. You have imagined this self to be yourself and to be true. Te imaginas ser tú mismo, te imaginas ser verdad en este sueño. But at times when you need that divine power, at times when you need that divine support, you see that 
the self is weak, useless. Pero en el momento que te encuentras con el poder divino, en el momento que te encuentras con el soporte divino, te das cuenta que este sí mismo es, es eh, débil, no es útil. And that is why the great masters of the Vedas, the great masters of Vedanta, they have declared that Atmanam Vidhi, to know yourself, this is the purpose of your life. Es por eso que los grandes maestros de los Vedas, es por eso que los grandes maestros de Vedanta te han dicho, conócete a ti mismo. Este es el propósito. So today I'm going to tell you a story, a story which has been, which has been explained by my master Bhagavan. Hoy te voy a contar una historia, una historia que la explicó mi maestro Bhagavan. And I'm sure that after we listen to the story, our path of spirituality will become a little bit easier. Y estoy segura que después de explicarte esta historia, estoy seguro que después de explicarte esta historia, eh, tu camino en la espiritualidad va a ser un poco más fácil. There was a very rich man. Hay un hombre muy rico. He had a very big house. Y tenía una casa muy grande. It was a palace. It was like a palace. Era un palacio, era como un palacio. And he had this two, you know, he had a very big gate in the palace. Y había una puerta muy grande en el palacio. And there was a road which was adjoining that gate and people used to use that road. So everybody used to commute that road but one day everybody found that there were two very ferocious dogs which were which were tied in that in that gate. Que estaba de su puerta, y un día la gente se dio cuenta que, que en esa puerta había dos perros que parecían ser muy feroces. These dogs were so big, so dangerously ferocious, that it appeared that at any moment it would jump into people and bite them. Y estos perros parecían ser tan grandes, eran tan peligrosos que parecía que en cualquier momento iban a saltar y iban a morder a la gente. When People saw these dogs, they became very frightened and slowly and gradually they stopped using that road. One day, the rich man saw that the road adjoining his house was completely empty. No one was using this road. Y un día el hombre rico se dio cuenta que la carretera que estaba aquí en su casa, que estaba al lado de su casa, estaba completamente vacía. Nadie estaba utilizando esa carretera. He was very surprised and very hurt. He didn't understand why people have stopped using his road. Y estaba muy sorprendido y no entendía por qué la gente había dejado de utilizar la carretera. So he called his servant, he called his attendant and he asked, why do people not use this road? Y entonces llamó a su asistente y le preguntó por qué la gente no está utilizando esa carretera. The attendant said that he didn't know the answer. Y el asistente dijo que él no sabía la respuesta. The man asked the attendant to go and and know what is what is the reason why do people not use this road. Y le preguntó le dijo al asistente que fuera y que preguntara a la gente cuál era la razón por la que la gente no estaba utilizando la carretera. When the servant went to the market and when he asked these people, they said that they stopped using the road because of fear. Fear of being attacked by the, by the dog, fear of being beaten by the dog. Miedo de ser atacados por los perros, miedo de eh, ser mordidos por los perros. And they also complain that your, your master is a rich man, so he doesn't care about us. He put these two dogs there so that they can bite us. Y también se quejaban, dicen, tu, tu, tu maestro, tu encargado es, es rico y ha puesto estos dos perros allí y estos perros nos pueden atacar, no nos cuida, no nos protege. So, the man, the... The, the, the attendant came to his master and said whatever he had learned. 
Y entonces el asistente fue a, a su maestro y le explicó lo que había aprendido, le explicó lo que le habían dicho. One day, the master went to the market. <laughs> Un día, el maestro fue al mercado. And he got hold of a man and he said that why don't you come to my house? Why don't you use this road? Y fue un hombre que le preguntó por qué no utilizas, por qué no vas a hacer mi casa, por qué no utilizas esta carretera. The man said, of fear, because of fear. I, I, I don't go there because of fear. You have tied two ferocious dogs in your, in your gates. Y le dijo, por miedo, no voy por miedo, porque has atado unos perros feroces en tu puerta. The man hold the hands of that of that of that man and he said, Come with me, come with me, my dogs will not bite you. This rich man he approached this very common man in such a way that the common man could not resist. He followed the rich man, but had a lot of fear within him. <clears throat> when this man came near the house, came near the gates, this man discovered that the dogs which were so ferocious, were of stones, they were not real. A very skillful sculptor, <coughs> he, he, you know, he, he, he made these dogs in such a way that they looked so real. Y un escultor tan agraciado, con tanta capacidad, hizo los perros de tal forma en piedra que parecían, de la forma que parecían totalmente reales. This common man cried out with joy. Wow, what a beauty, what a creation. Y entonces este hombre lloraba de, de, de gracia, de alegría, y decía, wow, qué belleza, qué creación. The fear turned into bliss. Y entonces el miedo se convirtió en bendición. Why did the fear turn into bliss when he saw the truth? Cuando el miedo se convirtió en bendición, cuando vio la verdad. So this is also very true to us. We all for, for all of us. Entonces esto es muy cierto para nosotros para cada uno de nosotros. We have a mind. Nosotros somos mente. And in that mind we have fears. We have doubts. We have confusions. Tenemos miedos, tenemos dudas, tenemos confusión. We have blockages. Tenemos bloqueos. But we do not want to, you know, venture the, you know, the reason of these blockages, the reason of these doubts, the reason of these fears. Pero no, no vamos a la razón de estos miedos, a la razón de estos bloqueos, a la razón, no vamos a esto. And we keep them with us, and at one time, these fears, these blockages, this negativity becomes our nature. Y lo, y entonces lo mantenemos en nosotros. Y llega un día, llega un momento en el que estos miedos, estas dudas, eh, estos se convierten en nuestra naturaleza. And this is how we live our life. Out of fear, out of blockages, out of confusions, out of doubt, never believing anything which you see in front of us. Y así es como tratamos eh, nuestra vida, nuestras, nuestros miedos, nuestros bloqueos, nuestras dudas eh, y de, entonces eh, nos quedamos ahí con lo que está delante nuestro. Our, though we appear to be very beautiful, though we appear to be very confident from the outside, but within us we are all broken, we are all scared, we are always, you know, we are always hiding from something, running, de, a, running away from something. A pesar de que parecemos muy confiados y no tener miedo, la verdad es que estamos rotos en el corazón y corremos detrás de algo. Now, how can spirituality help us in this, in this condition? Entonces, ¿cómo puede la espiritualidad ayudarnos en esta condición? We go to the therapist, we go to the psychic people, we go to different kind of therapists, and they give us therapies, 
and we become more and more sick. We become more and more, more and more dependent on them. Entonces vamos a los terapeutas, buscamos terapia y entonces nos vemos más y más enfermos. Dependemos más y más de ellos. Though we want to become free, but ultimately we find ourselves to be completely dependent and attached to these therapies and these, you know, these, uh, these medicines. Queremos ser libres, pero al final nos volvemos completamente dependientes de estas medicinas, de estas terapias. The first thing that spirituality says is Fearless, become fearless. Do not be, do not be scared. There is nothing to be scared. La primera cosa que la espiritualidad dice es vuélvete sin miedo. No hay nada de lo que tener miedo. You are strong than the strongest being in this universe. Tú eres fuerte como el más fuerte ser de este universo. You are powerful than the most powerful thing of this world. There is nothing which can make you powerless. There is nothing which, you, which can make you afraid, scared. And there is nothing which can defeat you. Defeat. Defeat. Okay. So why? Why? Because you are the self. You are the consciousness. You are the power. We depend upon the power of others. But we don't depend upon ourselves. Because we don't believe in ourselves. The first thing that spiritually tells us is to have faith in yourself. Shraddha vana lavade jnanam. That is, you need to have faith in yourself. There was a great man in India called Swami Vivekananda. He said that a man who has faith in thousands of deities but he does not have faith in himself. He is not a, is not a taste. He is an atheist. Y dijo el hombre que tiene fe en millones de deidades, pero no tiene fe en sí mismo, es un ateo. And a man who has faith in himself, but he doesn't care about any other things. He doesn't care about any other deities, gods. This man actually is the most Taste person in this world. Dice que el hombre que tiene fe en sí mismo y no depende de la fe de deidades o de dioses, de hecho, es el hombre que tiene más fe en este mundo. Because it is with faith that you will start to believe in yourself. It is with faith that you will start to love yourself, respect yourself, embrace yourself, accept yourself. Porque es con la fe que vas a creer en ti. <coughs> Look at the problems you have in, in, you know, in your life. You can say that this problem exists because of others. There is somebody who is creating these problems. You may, you may think about, you may think like this. But if you go deep you will see that it is not the other person, it is actually you not having faith in yourself. It is actually you not accepting yourself. It is actually you not forgiving yourself. It is actually you not loving yourself, valuing yourself. <clears throat> Eh, si te vuelves más profundo, vas a poder ver que el hecho eres tú que no tienes fe en ti mismo. Vas a poder que, ver que eres tú en realidad que no te aceptas a ti mismo. Y en realidad vas a poder ver que eres tú que no te perdonas a ti mismo, que no te das valor a ti mismo. Mi maestro es usted, dice que cuando vas a un shop y ves una muy buena dress, es una muy valuable dress. Y tú piensas que esta dress es de muy gran valor. But you don't know that if you are not there, this dress does not have any value. 
So you are the most valuable. The value of the dress depends upon you, but you don't depend upon the dress. Dice si mi maestro Bhagavan Surya dice que si tú vas a una tienda y ves un vestido y encuentras que es un vestido muy valioso, lo que no sabes es que si tú no estás ahí, ese vestido no es valioso. No tiene valor por sí mismo. El valor del vestido eh, es por, porque tú estás ahí. In the, same, in the same way, when you see this world, you value this world, you respect this world, you give this world a very big value, but you don't know that this world exists because you are there. If you are not there, where is this world? Dice, de la misma forma, cuando tú ves el mundo, tú respetas el mundo, tú le das valor al mundo, no sabes que la existencia de este mundo es porque tú estás allí. Pero si tú no estás allí, ¿cuál es este mundo no está? ¿Cuál es el valor de este mundo si tú no estás allí? So we come to a point where we have a person who is most important, a person who is most valuable, and this person is me, I. Entonces llegamos al punto de que hay una persona que es la más importante, hay una persona que es la más valiosa, y esa persona es yo, es mí, es, es yo. Now, who is this I? Ahora, ¿quién es este sí mismo? ¿Quién es este yo? Whenever we talk about I, we assume that I means this body. Cuando hablamos de yo, siempre que hablamos de yo, asumimos que el yo es este cuerpo. Now, if you see this body, Can you search where is this I? Where is this I in this body? You will not find it. You will see that this body belongs to somebody. We, what we say, this is my eye. This is my ears. This eye, this body belongs to me. I am not this body. Isn't it? Dice, entonces verás que este cuerpo pertenece a alguien. Decimos que estos son mis ojos, que estos son mis orejas. So when I'm, you know, when I'm, when I'm searching myself in the body, I'm not there. That means I am greater than my body. I'm more than my body. I'm not only this body, but I am something more than this body. Dice, cuando me busco en mi cuerpo, veo que no soy ahí, que soy algo más que mi cuerpo. Estoy más allá que mi cuerpo. Me pertenece, pero estoy más allá que él. Ok, then, that means I am not this body. Then, who am I? When I search more, I find that after this body comes a mind. The mind has many thoughts. And every thought grouped together is called mind. Am I this mind? Entonces dice, entonces no soy el cuerpo. Entonces si no soy el cuerpo, ¿quién soy yo? Si busco más y sigues, eh, en, en el cuerpo, más allá del cuerpo está la mente, ¿verdad? Y la mente es un conjunto de pensamientos. Y todos estos pensamientos juntos, consecutivos, forman este yo. Like this mind has got millions and millions of thoughts. You know, every time there are many thoughts, always there is new thoughts coming. Which one is me in these thoughts? Dice, en la mente, la mente va creando millones y millones de pensamientos. Y cada momento la mente crea esos pensamientos y estos pensamientos se entrelazan y llegan a ese yo. Pero en ellos, ¿dónde está ese yo? Also, the nature of the thought changes. Like, in the morning, I have a different set of thoughts. In the afternoon, my thoughts changes. In the night, my thought changes. So, which thought is me? Which one among these thoughts is me? Also, when this thought comes, I see these thoughts. I say, I have a thought. That means, you know, the thought has come and I have seen this thought. That is, I am not this thought. I am separate from this thought because I have seen these thoughts. Okay? So, I am something different from the thought. 
I am also not the mind. Dice, también el pensamiento viene y veo el pensamiento. Esto es que si el pensamiento viene y lo veo, yo estoy separado del pensamiento porque lo he visto. Por lo tanto, no soy el pensamiento. Esto es, no soy la mente. That means I am not the mind. Then what comes? Then this I, you know, I, this is called the ego. That means I am the ego. But I see that when I sleep, this ego is not there. I don't find myself. I sleep, I become completely unconscious. I don't know where I am sleeping, how long I am sleeping, how I am sleeping, what is my you know, feelings while I am sleeping. I don't know anything. Sleep is a part of our life where we are completely unaware of everything. So, you know, there I also don't exist. Dice, dice, entonces no soy la mente, entonces ¿qué viene? Viene que el yo, ¿no? El ego, este conjunto de, de, de este constructo del ego. Dice, eh, cuando duermo, normalmente el ego está ahí, pero cuando duermo el ego no está, no me encuentro, porque no está estos pensamientos. Estoy in, completamente inconsciente. Cuando duermo, no sé dónde estoy, no sé qué tengo alrededor, no sé dónde están mis cosas, no sé nada. Entonces, durmiendo, eh, no, no estoy eh, atento, no me doy cuenta absolutamente de nada, no existo cuando, no existe nada eh, cuando, cuando estoy durmiendo. Ok, so, when I come back from the sleep, when I wake up, the first thought that I have is, I had a very good sleep. So when I was not there, I was not, you know, I was not existing when I was sleeping. Who told, tells me that I, I was very sleeping very well? Who is this person who is telling me that I slept well? Entonces, eh, el, si mi primer pensamiento es este cuando yo no estaba allí yo no estaba existiendo en ese momento estaba durmiendo no, no estaba allí ¿quién me dice que estaba durmiendo bien? This person who tells me that I was sleeping very well was present when everything is non-existing In Exacto. my sleep, I do not have any body. In my sleep, I don't have any mind. In my sleep, I don't have any e ego. But there is something which tells me that I was there, I was sleeping. Y esa persona que me dice que he dormido bien cuando no estaba existiendo, que me dice realmente era, estaba durmiendo pero no había cuerpo estaba durmiendo pero no había mente estaba durmiendo pero no había ego que estaba durmiendo y hay algo allí que me dice lo que estaba sucediendo so it is there it is there when nothing is there entonces esa persona está ahí cuando nada está ahí this is I esto es yo this is I, this is the knowledge esto es el conocimiento. This is the knowledge and this is me, this is you. Esto es el, el mí, es el yo, es el tú. You exist when nothing exists. Tú existes cuando nada existe. When you're sleeping there is no fear, isn't it? Cuando tú duermes no hay miedo. When you're sleeping there is no, there is no sadness. No hay tristeza. There is one, you know, one mother <coughs> whose only child died. So if the mother's only child dies, then the mother will be very sad, no? The mother was crying. The mother was crying very, very hard. She was crying. And she was crying in such a way that everybody thought that maybe she will also die, maybe she will also become sick. So 
they wanted to console him. <laughs> hey, hey, but, but she could not be consoled. She was crying very, very much. So they called the doctor. When the doctor came, the doctor gave the woman a sleeping injection. When she got the sleeping injection, she also slept. Now this mother was sleeping next to her dead son, but she was not crying. Why she was not crying? Because the ego was not there. She was not there. The individual was not there. And because the individual was not there, the problem also was gone. So every problem, every sadness, every fear actually is held by you know by this individual, Jivatma or the mind or the ego. So any problem that you have is not because of others. It's not that somebody has, has imposed this problem to you. It is the ego which is holding this problem, which is the root of all problems. If the ego goes, if the ego goes, then there is no problem. Now the mother is sleeping. The mother is sleeping and she does not have any problem. But the mother is unconscious. Because she is unconscious, she is not crying. But if there was a way by which she could be sleeping while she is conscious, she will be conscious, but she will not have this ego. Then what, what will happen? If we discover a you know if we discover a, a stage, if we discover a stage in ourselves where we are there, but this ego is not there. Then how will be the then how will be the feeling? When you sleep, what do you feel? You feel peace. Yes, you feel peace. You feel happy, isn't it? So when you are sleeping, but you are awake. I am awake, but I am sleeping. I don't have any ego. Then many problems can stay, but I am free from all problems. I am peaceful. I am happy. Isn't it? Dice si yo estoy dormido y o si yo estoy dejado despierto pero no llego, los problemas están. Pueden haber problemas, pero estoy libre de esos problemas. Entonces estoy feliz. So this is the goal of Vedanta. Ese es el objetivo de Vedanta. Vedanta takes you to that state where you know you will be there, there will be peace, there will be happiness, but there will be no worries, there will be no no fears, no sufferings. You will always be happy. Y que es de antes que vamos a empezar, de que tú estás ahí y hay paz, y hay felicidad, y hay dicha, y y y estás, hay felicidad, no hay problemas, no hay sufrimiento. You know, we can approach this place. By two ways, three ways, many other ways. Nosotros podemos acercarnos, aproximarnos a este estado en una, dos formas, varias formas. This state which I will be talking about is called enlightenment. It's called samadhi, enlightenment, super conscious state. Este estado del que vamos, estamos hablando es eh, un estado superconsciente, es el estado de samadhi. When you are there, you are there with peace, with bliss, with happiness, with joy. With freedom, but there is no sufferings, there is no pain, there is no ego, there is no fear, there is no fighting, there is no, you know, there is, there is no duality. 
is all one, one love. This is called Samadhi or superconscious state. No hay sufrimiento, no hay ego, no hay lucha, no hay miedo, no hay dualidad. Eh, solo hay felicidad. Solo, solo es un estado en el que hay amor. Este es el estado de la conciencia. The name of this place is Yoga One. Isn't it? El nombre de este lugar se llama Yoga One. No, what is Yoga? Oh, ahora, ¿qué es Yoga? This is Yoga One. This, that means it's number one Yoga. So you should know what is Yoga. Entonces, debéis saber qué es Yoga. So in the Bhagavad Gita it says, Samadhava chala buddhistada yogam apapsasi. Samadhava chala. That is, when your mind is completely fixed in oneness. When your mind is completely fixed in equality, everything is same. Like I and you are same. Now we are different. <coughs> Why you are different? Because I am an ego, you are an ego. And that is where there is difference. If I don't have an ego, you also don't have an ego. Okay? Like, you know, when you go to the sea, there are so many waves. This is small wave, this is big wave, that is small wave, that is big wave. These are all waves. Like, our ego is like a wave. Now, you take one wave from there. You cut one wave and take it to the deep sea where there is no wave. Put that wave there, it will be water. So I and you are two waves, but if you discover that we are water, then we are not waves. Okay? So this is Samadhi, where I discover who I am, who I am, okay. who are you. <laughs> <laughs> Dice el, eh, el Gita, la Bhagavad Gita dice, cuando tu mente está completamente eh, fijada, focalizada en la unidad, en la ecuanimidad, eh, ahora, es algo de yoga, ¿eh? es un estado de yoga, es ¿eh? cuando tu mente está completamente focalizada en la unidad, en esa ecuanimidad. Porque es que ahora eh, somos diferentes, hay diferencia. ¿Por qué hay diferencia? Porque hay un ego, hay un yo y hay un tú. Cuando tú ves el mar, hay muchas olas. Hay unas olas pequeñas, hay otras olas grandes. Nuestro ego es una ola. Tienes que ir al mar más profundo. Si coges una ola y vas al mar más profundo, es una llama, no existe la ola. Tú y yo somos como dos olas. Somos como dos olas. Y en realidad, es amar y es esto. Es cuando solo hay agua. Cuando... Eh, solo soy, no hay yo, no hay tú, solo hay agua. Eso es lo que yo soy, eso es lo que tú eres. Ok, so it says, Samadha Bachala Buddhista, when we will be completely in the state of oneness. The yoga above Sasi, then we will attain yoga. So that is yoga. When there is everything is one. When there is no two, when everything is the same, that is called yoga. Dice, cuando tú estás en un estado de unidad, entonces alcanzas los estás en el estado de yoga. Cuando todo es uno, cuando no existe dos, todo es uno, solo hay uno, esto es, es yoga. Now through yoga we will try to find a way by which we can, we can, we can reach that space, okay? We can reach that place of unity. Through yoga only we will, we will start. So we have this mind. We use this mind. Everybody, we use this mind. Hmm? We, we came here, we decided that we are going to attend this class because we have this mind. We wanted this. So we are using this mind. Entonces, tenemos eh, esta mente. This mind has got five stages. Okay? This mind has got five stages. 
The first stage is called Shikta. Then Dikshita. Then Mura. How long is Mura? <laughs> fourth is fourth is Ekadra. Now from here this spiritual starts. Ekadra. Okay, the fourth is Ekadra and the fifth Cinco is is uh, this uh, Shipta, Big Shipta, Mura, Ekadra and uh, what is this called? Shipta, Big Shipta, Mura, Ekadra and Yoga. There is a technical term for that problem now. Yoga. So, I forgot this. Anyway, Shipta, Big Shipta, Mura, Ekadra and the last one is Turiya. The last, the last part is Turiya. Have you heard of Turiya? This word Turiya? Surya is the last stage, you know, where everything is one, Turiya. Now, the first stage is Shikta. What is Shikta? Do you know that we have three kinds of qualities? One is Sattva, one is Rajas, and the other is Tamas. Okay? So Sattva means when you see that in your mind you have joy, you have happiness, you have love, you have care for others, you have peace, you have you know bliss, happiness, you, you have knowledge, that part is called Sattva. <coughs> you know, that part of your mind is called Sattva. Okay? Dice, eh, es un estado, una cualidad, un estado de la mente, una parte de la mente en la que hay rendición, hay conocimiento, hay paz, hay cuidado de los demás. Esa parte es Sattva. Sattva. Then the next one is Rajas. Rajas means sometimes you want to walk like I see Paula. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. So you know, it's Rajas. You always see busy, you know? <laughs> so, you know, when you are always busy, you know, when you are always busy, this is called Rajas. Okay? You are busy, 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 I need this, I need this, I need money, I need this, I need this, so this kind of thing is called Rajas. But Papa doesn't need this thing, Papa is only busy. He is not a customer. Yes, he is a customer. So, anybody who has seen Papa knows this. She is a doctor. She goes up and down. She is a doctor. 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 No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. Come on. So, uh, so that part of your mind, you know, which is always busy. I need to do this, I need to do this, I need this one, I need that one. This is called Rajas. And the last one is Thomas. We'll see, sometimes you don't feel like doing anything. I ah, will do just that. <laughs> hey, come here. No, no, I don't want to go. I'm lazy. Okay? Lazy, sleepy, sleepiness, laziness. You know, we talk, we are talking, 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 we cannot stop. That is what? Thomas. Then you know this drug addiction. People take drug addiction. No, this is also from Thomas. So, Okay, 
So now we'll start this exercise. Okay. Now we'll start this exercise. We'll try to reach to the point of of Tuhiya. That is the goal of yoga. Okay. At least we'll try to go very near to that state of Tuhiya. Okay. Okay. Entonces ahora empezamos este ejercicio, ¿no? Al final el objetivo es eh, establecernos en el estado de Tuya, en el estado de Mira. Este es el objetivo. So, now what we do is, we have to forget that we have any work in this world. Entonces ahora lo que tenemos que hacer es olvidar que tenemos un trabajo en este mundo. We have to forget that we have any duties. Tenemos que olvidar que tenemos obligaciones. Ok. Just try to find that part of your mind which is always happy. Try to find out that part of your mind which is very peaceful, very happy. If you can feel this peace now, just be with this peace. So when you are attached to the peace, when you can concentrate only on the peace of happiness, this state of the mind is called ekāgura, that is meditation. Try to, try to, you know, focus on that part of the mind which is always happy, which is peaceful. Entonces, cuando te apegas a esta aspecto de la mente que está siempre en paz, que está siempre en paz, And stay there. And stay there. Forget all your works. Forget the world. Forget yourself. Forget that you have a house, you have children, you have a boyfriend, you have a husband, you have a wife. Forget everything. Just you. Just you. Just you. And the peace. Y solo la guarda. Y para tu vida, la pizza. Y para estar con la pizza.